Bom dia, and welcome to the first episode of my Portugal Let's Play. Now, this is maybe a bit off-putting because this is not exactly the YNAMP pack, which is the Yet Not Another Maps pack, and I actually have some explaining to do because I did promise that I would be, um, be playing on that map pack, and the reasoning for that is because I had some difficulties early on. Um, I've been setting this up actually for 30 minutes and kind of trying to fidget around, but unfortunately I could not... Uh, put the Portugal um, spawn point with the Yet Not Another Maps pack just because um, it still hasn't updated, so I don't want to wait a few days. I don't know how, how long it will take. I just want to get this out to you guys as soon as possible so you can enjoy it and um, just share the uh, video and whatnot. Um, and I also can't really wait to, to play Portugal. So um, I still wanted to keep my promise true and play as Portugal on a TSL Europe map, so I'm doing that. And I don't think this map particularly is too bad. Uh, there's still some interesting start locations. So with that said, uh, let's just get into it. I think I actually, I've been planning this out. I want to settle on the olives here and possibly get Antinanki up early just because there's so many nice floodplains around here and I can really take advantage of the marshes. So let's just go ahead and settle our capital of Lisbon. And I want to take a look at uh, Joao's abilities as well. So let me just get pottery. Actually, let me get mining. And I think we'll set this to a scout first. And I'm playing with a few mods, none too significant. I've turned off wetlands. But we do get a plus one site bonus to all units and plus one trade route capacity when we um, meet a civilization. So exploring is courage, encouraged. And then we also um, have a bit of a restriction with the trade routes. We really want to use um, naval trade. So we will be prioritizing settling cities on the coast especially since the navigation school uh, kind of incentivizes uh, doing that as well with extra science towards coastal tiles, which is really nice. Um, I love a little science incentivization for uh, different civs. Anyhow, really fun to um, just develop a naval empire and kind of explore early on. So, yeah, Spain is not too big, but I think we will also be settling some coastal colonies while we're at it. Let me just see... I think we have some goody huts around here. Um, I think we'll just send you over to the um, French area. And then we might settle uh, North Africa later. Not too sure on that. Um, I have also pre-picked some of the civs since I didn't want like Spain to spawn and then immediately compete with us for loyalty. And I think I included Ambiorix just because I wanted to include some of the newer civs, but we also immediately got a new scout. And it looks like there's a city-state over here, Ghost Fish, a, a barbarian clan, forgive me. Um, but we do have two scouts, so that means I won't have to build an extra one. And I think we'll just send you over here. And let's just send you to the north. And then we can bring the, bar uh, the warrior back. So I think we should just immediately start working on a settler. And the city is growing super, super fast. Let's go ahead and get Magnus because I still don't want to um, lose any population once I get provision. And let's just bring you back here. I may be missing a goodie hut, but I still don't want to um, pump out an extra warrior when I could be working on, a, working on a builder. Let me send you down here. Okay. Yeah, North Africa is not too big in this version, but um, I think a little bit more detail is paid attention to uh, in Europe. So I think that makes up for it. And let's just continue exploring. Okay. Pottery. And you can go get this goodie hat. It's kind of weird because I thought Portugal would actually get a bonus to tribal huts, you know, since it's kind of in the theme of exploration. But I don't mind the uh, city-state bonus. And it really helps since you don't have to wait for Wieselbanken to kind of spam your Fatorias and really uh, piss people off. But, um... Let's go ahead and get an observation post down here, a watchtower. This is actually from a mod from Sealer Cats. And it's actually really cool because it helps increase your sight. And it looks like there's another barbarian camp right there. <laughs> but um, just really, really cool to uh, get an observation post in and kind of expand my empire's territories early on. All right. So this is, I think, the bear tree. Yes. I'm getting used to the um, icons here for the uh, barbarian camps. I've been practicing just a little bit. But I think we're going to go ahead and harass this scout even though we're taking a penalty. Or it's not a favorable combat bonus there. And we can probably take this barb camp out early, actually. 
Let me just see here. I think it's a good idea to go ahead and buy this tile out just for that extra production. And let me just lock my stuff in here. So we'll keep this, we'll keep this, but I want to move over here and really shave some turns off. All right, we've met Ambiorix. He's a very interesting guy to play with. Looks like he beeline straight for Iberia, which is interesting. I'm hoping he's not blocking my exploration here, though. That would be extremely annoying. Let's just see here. I want to kind of shepherd this guy away here and make it hard for him to explore south, because once he explores there, he's going to immediately uh, come back and start pumping out barbarians. This galley is also annoying, or the quadrine, but I think it's ranged, so it cannot take our city. Barbarians actually can't take capitals, so... That is nice. Okay, I'm going to have to move out of my way just so this guy kind of screws off. But he is sending us uh, some salted hams as his delegation, which I will gladly take. Maybe he'll even attack this uh, barbarian here. Alright, and I think we want to go with urban planning for that early production boost. We don't have that much production, as well as discipline to uh, kind of take out this barbarian camp easily. Okay. So, let's skip past this guy. And that extra site is actually really helping with our units. I'm going to fortify here and keep sending you up. Alright. I think I actually want to send my first settler over here just to kind of uh, clear some territory out. Or at least claim some territory for myself. Maybe we can even get an early friendship with him. Okay. Um, <laughs> do we want an early campus? We might want to uh, rush Ate Mananke. That is very, very tempting. Mm hmm. I think we'll go for writing, actually, and maybe try to get Ate Mananke. Hopefully the AI doesn't build anything or get any funny ideas. And you can keep exploring over here. Alrighty. Okay, keep going north, or maybe actually to the west here. And if we kind of get blocked off early on, we can always colonize uh, the northern African areas. Okay. So I think for an actual actual first city, we might want to go for the wine here. Let's see the loyalty pressure. Okay, there's no actual pressure here. So I'm thinking maybe somewhere here. Maybe the wine. And then we can back settle a bit on the Iberian Peninsula. Okay. I think in England is also in this game as well. Anyhow, let's quickly move out and try to secure this territory for ourselves. And you can keep exploring around here. Okay, they've already settled some Auto Breva, and I am playing on Immortal, so they will be able to get some uh, early settlers out. Alright, I think I want to go for a builder and kind of get my production up. I have mining researched already. Yes, I do have that researched. So, oops, I keep clicking on that. It's a bad habit. Okay, I don't think we need to worry about error score just yet. But I do want to take this scout out. Move over here. And it's really interesting to see. He's already got some farms up, but he hasn't built on the wheat. So that's kind of a noob mistake there on Biorix. Kind of want to get those bonus resources uh, farmed first. First and foremost. Okay, let's go here and keep hurting him. Then I'll send you up here. Okay. I think we can get to continue exploring to the east here. Ambiotic should probably be done colonizing northern France by the end of the classical era, since Let's immortal civs do get a production bonus, and we have found Matterhorn. So we should be able to find Rome fairly soon. Oops. Let me just get up here and kind of drive you away. Okay. But again, nice to see Lisboa is growing quite quickly. Alright, let's keep shepherding you up here. I, mean, I don't want to settle just yet. Skip that turn. And move you down here. And Bjorix is probably going to be going after that salt, though. So, I think we want to quickly... I don't know, maybe settle in between the wine? I don't know how bad his loyalty pressure is just yet. Okay, it still is not affecting me down here. So, I'll just go over here. And pray he does not settle. 
there we go. And we almost have that scout dead. I almost clicked the settle city. That would have been bad. Though I don't think the wine is necessarily a bad spot to settle. Hmm. Maybe I could get a city here. And then maybe one over here on that wine. Kind of take some of Ambiorix's uh, alcohol there. Looks like Rome has a narrow pass over here to kind of navigate towards it to France. And I think... I'll just keep moving along here. So, one here. Okay. Okay, I think I know what I do. What I want to do. I want to settle over here at the city, and then I'll go forward settle here. And then we can kind of force uh, Ambiorix to go push back towards the... Um, what am I thinking? Push back towards uh, Germany. I don't think Germany is actually in this game, but... In case he is, they will uh, encounter some early problems really quickly. Let me get hill terrain, uh, the bonus for that, since I will be moving into Rome. And I believe northern Italy is fairly hilly in this map. But I do want to get this uh, mine out for that extra production. And probably chop this forest in case we go for Atenanki. Okay. Let's get a granary. And you can probably explore northern Europe. Let's send you over here. Thankfully, no loyalty yet. And settle Braga. All right. Okay, let me just go over here. And I think we might go for a monument. I really want to be friends with Ambiorix. Okay, he's still not friendly. Let's see the modifiers here. Okay, first impression's not too good. Maybe we can try to trade him some olives early. Ooh, and that would be a super nice deal. All right, I think that's also going to um, increase friendship. So let me move you over here, and we can try to chop this forest out. <clears throat> okay. Get this, and I think that will help us towards Atenanki once we put it down. I'm wondering what the requirements for that are, actually, since it is a new wonder. Atenanki. Eighteen. Okay. Eighteen may not key. All right. Floodplains or marsh. Okay. So let me just skip that granary here and immediately start pumping that out. And we don't have any reefs as Portugal. I don't think the Iberian Peninsula has any reefs at all. No. So for the city planning itself, maybe I build Eighteen Mananki here and then a theater square here. I don't think that's a bad idea. Okay, and then we'll chop this forest here. Okay. Hopefully we can rush that out. But I'll keep extending you up to the uh, German region of the map. And I think we should meet Rome fairly quickly. Have you met anyone else? Okay, you've met three people and you're already at war with one of them. That's actually a good sign because that means Ambiotics might not be coming for us as quickly. Let's get this goodie hut. Alright, snipe, right uh, snipe it right out from under them. And we got state workforce. Okay. Let's chop this. And so that shaved like five turns off. Okay, nothing too significant, but um, it should help us out a bit. Let me just see if we can actually find Ate Manaki. See if anyone else is building it. Okay. One result. Okay, so that means we are fairly safe. I don't know if anyone else is building it. Maybe Russia, because they have a lot of floodplains with their start. There's even a um, fissure here, or a uh, meteor site. Let me get the um, forest movement. Yeah, this would be a really, really solid preserve here. Let me just see the appeal. Ooh, that is really, really nice. Though the AI, unfortunately, might not capitalize on that, so... Let me just chop this out, too, and... Looks like 18 turns. Might want to pri prioritize production here. And I think we may as well just go ahead and buy this tile. Okay. Haven't met Rome yet. Go over here and grab a free military unit. That means we don't have to produce one in the capital. And we can send the heavy chariot back down to Lisbon. We might actually want to clear out that barbarian camp while we are building Ate Monarchy. Yep, because they just sent a warrior down over here. Is Rome not in the game? They might not be. But Poland is, okay. 
Jam Jadwiga, Król Polski. Król Polski. All right, I love her voice actor. <laughs> oh, Poland is already sending some warriors to Obwodica. Mm. Well, at least it's nice to see some tension heat up for our uh, adversaries over there. And it looks like this production is moving up quite speedily. Let's get this goodie hat. Discovered Vesuvius. And send you over here. That's the positive aspect. Okay, let's get this goodie hat. And I think we might as well go for Rome. I'm not too sure. Okay. Um... AT Monarchy, please hurry up. Okay, they've raised our mine. That really sucks because that was helping contribute to our production. It looks like Vesuvius has already exploded here. Send you over here. And man, I can't believe they're already in a war. They're not even that close to each other. Kind of comical. Ooh, the Gaul have uh, claimed to be Brax. And. Kind of close to us, that is unfortunate. I wonder if we can get friendship just yet. Okay, nope. I may want to buy some tiles out, though. Kind of steer them away from uh, Braga. And we will continue. Okay, they've already taken Rollclaw and raised it to the ground. That is not too good. I kind of wanted them to be uh, in a stallmate. So that is a bit unfortunate to see. Looks like there's no goodie hats. I think they've cleared those out. Alright. And I think we're still going to clear this uh, this camp out here. We don't want a city-state there just yet. We want to maximize all of our territory as Portugal. Just because uh, going wider with those coasts is going to be super, super nice. Okay. Looks like they've founded four cities already. Man, the mortal is no joke at all. Especially with some of the science buffs they get too. Let me just check that. Okay, Umbiotix is actually friendly, so I'll detour and get that friendship. But, okay, 9.4 and we have 4.6. So the AI is not slouching. Though he does have a lot of cities, so that may contribute towards that. Okay, and I think I can take you out. Mmm, that might be risky. I think he'll kill me off by then, so I might want to retreat and get some health back. Because I don't think the Barbarians actually heal. Okay, and there's Sweden over there. Let me just heal here. And keep exploring. There's Sicily right there. So, AT Manaki, four turns away. Keep exploring with you. Hopefully no one steals it from us. That would be extremely, extremely uh, frustrating. <laughs> um, send you over to Greece. Explore there. Go on a little Greek tour. And we almost have a monument in Braga. Thankfully we won't have to worry about a war with Ambiotix just yet. And I don't think Poland will declare on us since they are facing some troubles. They even found an Islam, which is kind of ironic considering they led crusades against the Ottomans. But I'm not going to really complain. Um, <laughs> let's see here maybe you get a holy site and then I'm thinking we get a government plaza or a campus down here and a campus down here with this city so let me just grab this okay then we can kind of finish exploring this it looks like Come. Barbarians raise something there. Let us build ourselves a city with a tower that reaches to the heavens so that we may make a name for ourselves. Love that quote. Very, very nice. And we've got AT Manaki, which should give us a huge science boost early on. Great. Yep, look at that. Plus two science. Mm -mm -mm. And plus one science on floodplains. I think it also gives us some additional production, which should be very, very good. I still don't think we're going to go for uh, Lady of the Region Marshes. We only have two marshes here. But, hmm, we may go for some kind of coastal belief. So, with that said, let's get a settler and send you over here. Poland is still putting up a fight. Interesting. 
Okay, and you can just auto explore. I'm kind of done with you. You found all the important uh, locations. Let's move you over here so you don't die. And kind of just glad we grabbed Ate Mananki. All right, that promotion is nice. Thankfully, they didn't pursue us. Uh, they let the um, unit heal. So let's grab this promotion. And I think we'll get the barding bonus since there's a slinger stationed in that uh, barbarian camp. Okay. Alpine training, very, very useful. And move you over here. Okay, we should be able to take that guy out, no problem. The other slinger seems to be going south to kind of take out our capital. I think that camp already knows where it is. But it looks like Ambiorix is about to settle a city here. Which is interesting. I can't unfortunately take that settler just yet. Okay. Alright, he does not like that um, we don't have too many troops. At least he has more. But I mean, that's kind of unfair, buddy, since you get so many buffs with Deity. Anyhow, disperse that camp. And we're going to get a few bonuses. I think we should probably grab Irrigation, even though we don't have a Eureka for it. We really need to work that Citrus and improve it. Okay, they're taking my guy out. Um, let's clear this warrior first. And we're going to grab bronze working. Super, super helpful. Okay, that settler is almost out. I think he should probably make it uh, down there before then. So, looks like they founded Novio Dunum. They're expanding quite quickly. And their borders are going to grow even faster, I think. So we're already in classical. Um... I think I should probably grab the Eureka. I don't know if I'll found a uh, religion by this time, but let's clear the settler or the slinger out and grab drama and poetry. I'm going to also give Magnus the provision promotion so I don't want to lose any more pops in the city. I know it's a fairly popular city with the marshes and all, but still. Okay, Basil. Love's intro. Very, very nice voice. Um, okay, he's founded Constantinople. Already at six pops. Very, very impressive. Especially since he's probably uh, probably been putting out settlers. So I think they probably uh, start with a bunch of wheat there. So not too surprised. But always nice to see the AI is doing well. And he already hates me. Alright. Perfect start. He probably won't even accept a delegation. Nope. <laughs> okay. You won't either? Nope. All right, well, whatever. Okay, I think Basile is actually harder to impress because he wants you to be following his religion. So, I think we want to get bronze working. Get some early units up and running. And we want to settle a city on this wine ASAP. We've kind of been slow with that. So, I'll settle here and move over here. Okay, he's actually over there blocking me, unfortunately. Let's get a granary. Or maybe even a trader, actually. Let's get a trader and start to capitalize on Portugal's early bonuses. Okay. Maybe we can even go to Atawatica and see just how uh, far the trade route ranges extend. Though I'm worried the um, these guys might pillage my stuff. Let me just see if I can hire a quad dream and try to try to take these guys out. Okay, but oddly they're not actually civilizing. So I don't know why city state conversion is disabled. I didn't disable disable city state conversion, so that's a bit disappointing. Uh, anyhow, I can still build for Victoria's and uh, cities, so not too concerned about that. Let's send you over here and try to police these guys. Bronze. And we have bronze working. Wonderful. Alright, masonry. I think we have some iron depots. Okay, we have some here. And maybe we settle on the copper. Not too sure. Anyway, we still want to uh, settle on this wine over here. So, you're praying for me. Thank you. Not going to really do anything, but okay. 
So, we can't reach Aruarica just yet. So we might want to send something to Braga. Though I'm thinking we just stole and trade this to Braga. And I'll send this to uh, the wine over here. Alright, let's get this granary out. Maybe even a holy site. Though I do need that place for a uh, theater district. So, get me a granary. Okay. Yeah, let's just send this to Lisbon, help that city grow a bit. And then maybe we can get another uh, trader later. We already have plus four uh, trade route capacity. So let's get a shrine and try to rush a great profit. We have some iron too, which is nice. We'll take that guy out. I'm really worried about the uh, quad dreams though. That's my main priority. Okay, let me get a promotion here, if I can end the turn. There are a lot of settlers probably being spammed out, so... Let me just get this plus seven. And we'll grab currency. Okay, I don't know what you're waiting around here for. But I will settle this wine here. And we have founded Ponta Delgada. Okay. Let's get a monument. Actually, let's grab ancient walls in case Ambiotix gets any funny ideas. And he should still continue settling Germany, so let's take you out. And we did get naval tradition, okay. Looks like he's just exploring, thankfully he's not positioning uh, outside of my capital. Um, <laughs> we do have t plus 10 science, that is nice. I think we'll go for another settler and get some uh, extra gold for a warrior, okay. Continue exploring over here. And we have some very nice uh, lands to settle. So, I don't know if I'll be able to settle Rome in time. I do want to settle North Africa. Looks like Poland is being a bit aggressive with Rome. Just have to see how that plays out. I am kind of bummed about the city state conversion, though. I guess that's just the problem with the TSL Europe map. Oh well. Oh, well. Anyhow, speaking of TSL Europe, I think we're going to find Russia fairly soon. Continue exploring. Should be around here. I think they're, like, right near Finland's border. And continue exploring east. Alright. So we do have some nice territory. That olives is looking mighty juicy. Or even this copper. And then you should be able to get some insane science with the uh, navigation school later on, like near the Renaissance era. That's when Portugal really starts to shine. But right now we're just getting built up. You can even see our palaces right here. Okay, I think we want to renew our friendship with the Gaul. Let me just see here. Alright, thankfully they renewed our friendship, so I don't have to worry about them. But I think I will call this an end for today's episode. Kind of on the shorter side, I believe. But we did manage to get A.T. Menanke finished, which is really nice. Love to get that extra science. And this um, early boost should help us compete on Immortal Difficulty. And uh, this should be it for today's episode. So stay tuned for tomorrow's episode, episode 2 of the Portugal Let's Play tomorrow. Um, but this is adios. So thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like, subscribe. And I should see you guys tomorrow. Alright, peace.